Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning back into Crypto Mainly. My name's Lee. Um, <laughs> well, cryptocurrency over the last couple of days just feels like the wild, wild west again. Is uh, you know what with the uh, the, the Luna uh, Foundation having the problems, um, UST uh, losing its peg and things. It just um, you know it's just like a it's like a mini black swan. It's quite incredible. But um, let's have a look in the charts, guys, because I don't think much has changed. To be quite honest, um, let's just have a look. These are the charts we'll be looking at in today's show. Uh, for those of you, just give you a quick flash. So this is my my daily trading chart. We'll take a look at Wyckoff. We'll have a look at uh, some uh, sort of uh, mid-term perspectives here. And um, have a look at the daily RSI and what that's showing us. Uh, have a look at the total chart, Bitcoin dominance, Tether dominance, and also we'll have a look at the Dixie as well. So quite uh, lots to get through today, guys, and I'm going to try and whiz for it quite quickly. Um, okay, so uh, as you can see, guys, we are you know just basically still in, in this lower range. Uh, we did get a, a, a nice attempt earlier, or a scary attempt, I should say, uh, at breaking down through the 30,000 uh, support. Uh, there is key support at 29,790, uh, which you can see uh, there. Uh, and you'll also notice that on this, this other chart is that we haven't broken the lows of these wicks yet. So, so th this wick low here uh, is at uh, 28,750. Um, we did come quite close in this just a just recent attempt in these last few hours, uh, but we haven't actually broken that low yet. So 28,750 um, is, you know, I suppose that's the line in the sand. If we see if we, any candle closes below that, uh, then it looks like we're going to have a multi-month bear market um, starting from now, um, which I don't think I still uh, I've got uh, still have got my hopes up for this uh, for the old season for the uh, for the summer. Although um, it does feel like the market's changing. Uh, I think that's mostly driven by the fact that Bitcoin was was starting to correct, uh, and then obviously you know the market manipulators have, have taken advantage of that uh, with the UST and Luna uh, Foundation, um, you know, being their, their 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 fall guy or their scapegoat, and that's what's happened, you know, and obviously um, because of the market sentiment now um, and people losing so much money um, in Luna, unfortunately, very sadly for them, um, you know, it's. Uh, it, it, it's sad times in the market sentiment is changing negatively um, off the back of that. Um, but on the face of things, guys, although it's felt very different in the last couple of days, look, we've, we've not really, nothing really has changed too much. Um, if we look at, uh, at this chart here, uh, you can see that we've got the bullish divergence still. So we've got, uh, we're making lower lows, uh, RSI is making higher lows. So that we have still got this bullish divergence. Uh, interestingly, as, as I look at this chart, guys, you'll see actually if we extend this out, you can see actually that this 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 could well be forming something on the lines of sort of on a midterm, um, you know, possibly something like this, uh, where we've got you know a broadening wedge here. Uh, sorry, uh, a falling wedge here. Um, I mean, as you'll know, guys, that you know the, the the target. If this breaks out, there's there's a sixty eight percent chance that that we break to the upside. It, it, on the face of things, if we look at that, you know, we've got a series of touches here, here, and now here at the bottom. So there's three touches along the bottom. Which makes this pattern, um, you know, uh, validated, uh, and two touches, you know, a, a series of touches here, in fact, but sort of two areas of of, uh, of tests on that resistance. So it does make that that wedge, um, which is a bullish pattern again, you know, it does make it valid. Uh, and also, we've also got the, um, you know, on a smaller scale, uh, we could be seeing something like this, uh, where we've got, you know, an, another wedge pattern. It's not very clear to see that, but you've got, you know, almost a, another wedge pattern happening. Uh, which I'll just show you quickly. So it's so something along the lines of of, of this here. So on a, on a smaller scale, uh, actually, it's not that's not very well drawn. Sorry about that. Let me just uh, change it slightly. You're actually, looking at something more along the lines of you know, so something along the lines of that on a, on a smaller scale. Um, but the point being, uh, guys, is that, you know, we, we still have got signs that we're actually starting to get to the point where we are at a bottom. Uh, we're retesting the lows here. You know, we've got the bottoms of the of this range uh, becoming support. Uh, we are still in this little triangle. And as I said, I think we'll see some action in here. And you can see already uh, that we are sort of bouncing around in there. But I think that we'll be in this inside this wedge, uh, incidentally. So, um which is, you know, obviously the low, which I don't, you know, I, I can see us having some more scary stabs down there to, to really sort of worry people. So I can see us having a few, you know, spike lows below here, you know, whilst we're in this this little small triangular range here. Uh, let me just highlight that a little bit better for you so you can see it better. So 
So whilst we're in that lower, this little range, and as I, as I said on the show yesterday, I think we could be in, inside this, this little triangle here for as much as a week uh, whilst the price you know starts to build momentum before we get the breakout. Uh, and it's going to take some time for the market to regain some confidence. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see us in here. And, you know, coupled with a couple of prices, you know, lows stabbing down. As you can see, this lower support line uh, is is um, sort of moving away. Uh, uh, sorry, so as, as, you know, as time goes on, you'll see that the price, this lower trend line is actually moving away, which would mean that when we get these stabs down as time goes on, you know, I wouldn't at all be surprised as to, you know, for the market to really scare us, even to get, a, you know, a wick come down below that very last sort of uh, point of hopium. So that, that very last dotted line there, uh, which is at, um, it's the, it's the, the, the tw twent, sorry, where are we? Uh, where are we? So, so the red dotted line, so the lower dotted line here is the one that we're talking about, which is basically the very low from this, uh, you know, from the, 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 the summertime. Uh, of last year um, you know the very very low I've actually marked it in red there sorry that's why I'm getting confused so uh, 29,250 uh, is the, the lowest of, of that low and I can actually see that as time goes on throughout this week we may even get some stabs below there to really start to sort of shake people out and worry people again uh, but before we get the um, you know the, the, the sort of lift off into the summer um, I do still think that's going to happen, guys. But things, there's no doubt that things are getting more, you know, more, and more worrying um, as price comes down. But that's you know human nature. That's what that's what happens. That's what the market's designed to do is to make you worry. But we are losing sort of significant moving averages as well on the higher time frames, uh, which you know does cause concern. But I think you know we're low enough on RSI and things um, for us to start to see. You know we're actually in the in you know at, at the, the you know below this this uh, the thirty five percent mark which i was talking about um as holding for a long time we did get some consolidation above there but of course we, we lost that i think that was mostly driven by you know this drop here uh was mostly driven by the you know the, the, the what's happened with lunar and ust um having said that you know the rsi now is at a point where we're looking like we're bouncing we've got to the lows of this range here um and you know the, this sort of 30 uh, 25 to 35 percent move as a minimum guys but bear in mind that these blue circles along the bottom here have shown 25 to 35% moves on the smaller moves, that is. You will recall that these green arrows, you can see where you've got these blue circles on where these green arrows are, and you've got huge percentage gains and huge percentage moves. Um, so you've got the, the, the one from the bottom to the top there. Let's just put a, just put a measure on there just uh, for interest's sake. But um, you know, from the, from the bottom to the top there, you know, that, that was like a, an 80% move. Uh, not bad uh, in Bitcoin terms. <laughs> uh, and obviously then from the bottom here, you know, same again. So just, just roughly measuring this, guys. So, you know, 75 to 80% on these two moves here when we've got, the, the you know, the RSI as low as it is again here now. So we're looking at between 25 and 35% as a minimum and almost and up to, you know, even as much as 70 to 80% move. Um, you know, let's just put the, just for interest's sake, if we go from the bottom here um, and we put a 70% a move in, what would that show us? So that would take us back up to, to sort of 52,000, uh, which, um, you know, it's between 52. Yeah, and, and back up to the, to this, you know, the, you know this dotted line here at 52,000 has come in a couple of different times on, on the measures that we've that we've taken. Um, so, you know, perhaps that's what will happen. Perhaps we'll get the, you know, the, the summer will be us moving from where we are now up into this lower area here. Uh, you know, I, I um, was thinking that when the price was in this range is that we were going to bounce up to between 52, uh, sorry, between uh, 56 and 60,000. Now we've, we, obviously we've lost the support and we're down at the bottom here. Obviously we, we need to consider that and take that into consideration. And so it's less likely that we'll see those, you uh, you know, now that the, the structure has changed, that we'll see the uh, the fifty six to sort of sixty thousand mark. Um, but you know, look, looking at this, I mean, you know, even going by the, the moves here, it is possible. I mean, you know, it, it so from the bottom to the top here was seventy percent. It it's, it's possible that we come up to fifty two thousand, we come back down as we did here, and then we get the second move of another seventy percent, and we're back up to the top of the range again. 
Now, it's very unlikely that that's going to happen, you know, on the face of things. The probabilities suggest that we're headed down. Um, but, you know, when you look at the sentiment being so, you know, like the fear and greed index is in single digits, uh, which is, you know, a very extreme fear in the market. Um, and you see all of these different indicators that are reset so much, the RSI on the daily, uh, all these different things. I understand on the entire time, term time frames that the some of the moving averages are being lost. But, you know, on a, on a shorter term, if we're talking about longer term averages, they will take a long term, to, you know, a long time to play out. In the short term, we are, you know, oversold uh, on the indicators and we are likely, more likely to get a bounce off the base of that. We're, we're at the lows here. Um, I'll also show you the um, the, the total uh, market cap. So this is the to total, uh, so the ticker's total at the top there, and this is the total market cap. And as you can see, you know, we have taken a beating um, and we've come all the way down, but it's not surprised to see we've already got a huge bounce and a huge rejection uh, from this support, uh, which, as you saw here, we did bounce along a couple of times, but the actual end result was a, was a huge move. Uh, uh, you know, very similar to Bitcoin. Actually, this looking at this this move here, very similar to to Bitcoin's chart uh, in the centre here, in that we've got you know that type of situation, and obviously you know this type of situation here. Uh, but it is interesting that we are now back at this red zone, and this red zone was what created the you know the the the, the sort of the the support, if you like, that gave us enough support to give it the spring. Uh, and I, I still do think, guys, that, that that's what's going to happen here. I mean, it is you know everything looks doom and gloom and everything else, but I still think that we are you know I don't think that the um, that the market on the short term, it, you know, you know my views uh, on the mid term. I'm not, some some of you will, and I will update that video. Uh, but I do think we are going to retest. I think the mid twenties are definitely coming, um, maybe even low twenties, twenty to twenty five. But I don't think that that's going to happen at the moment now i think that we've probably got another another few months perhaps four months um maybe even longer than that before we actually see that so i think probably possibly sort of september october november time of this year is when we'll see the the low to mid 20s um, and i think before that we are going to see a, you know some nice action into the summer uh, and we are going to see some bitcoin recovery and some general recovery in the altcoin market um just talking about that actually if we go into dominance uh, this um, this was a little bit of a surprise, but when I did the video yesterday, um, I was saying that I think that you know that the the, uh, the dominance is going to be you know looking like it's going to be breaking down. You know, but Bitcoin was looking like it's bottoming, um, and therefore, you know, if Bitcoin starts to get the pump higher, then this will roll over and start to come lower. Uh, in fact, the opposite happened. Bitcoin did take a uh, a, a shot down. Um, you know, into the you know you know it, 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 sort of a stab at the lows. Um, let's try and find our smaller term time frame. So, so we've got this wick low here. Um, uh, this is on a twelve hour. Let's have a look on a bit of a smaller time frame. So, yeah, so we we got these bounces along the support basically. So instead of the bounce happening and us getting some upward movement, we haven't actually got that yet. So it's not surprising to me that because we got this, you know, this spike down, um, is that we we've also seen the opposite spike up in dominance. Now, some of you will recall in the videos that I've posted uh, previously um, that, that we do not want to see Bitcoin cross, uh, you know, close above uh, th this dotted line here. OK, we want to see it reject from here. OK, it is at the top of the resistance now, which is great. We do not want to see Bitcoin dominance closing above 43.3. If it does close above there, come back down and then find retest and find support there then the alt season's off and uh, the dominance is likely to, you know, Bitcoin is likely to come crashing down in price uh, and that's going to result in the dominance increasing whilst Bitcoin price is falling. Uh, I don't actually think that's going to happen yet. I think we're on for Bitcoin bouncing, the dominance coming down, us having a nice alt season and then perhaps later in the year we'll see those low, tw low to mid 20s, I think, later in the year. Um, looking at the dominance, uh, this is tether dominance, guys. So, you know, similar thing. Uh, you know, it's still looking very strong. Um, it is still, you know, still sort of t attacking that um, the, 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 this upper resistance line. But you will see that it is still rejecting um, from there. Um, so, you know, we, we're getting a little area here where it's, it's still trying to edge its way up. We may get another maybe one or two stabs 
above there. I mean, if we do start to see us closing above sort of 6.3% uh, on the tether dominance, then again, you know, that's gonna, gonna, that would mean as the, to as the tether dominance rises, that people are selling their coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum and altcoins into USDT. Hence the reason that the dominance, which is the, you know, the total percentage of the court of the of the market cap, which is currently in tether, uh, will be increasing when people are moving out of their positions. So we don't want to see that. What we want to see is is exactly what we're seeing now is the rejection and for us, and for the, the rejection downwards to continue, which would then mean people are moving their money out of the US out of USDT, out of stable coins back into the market. That's what we want to see, guys. Um, that will result in hopefully, you know, Bitcoin price um, starting to bounce and go higher, which would mean which would result in the dominance coming down. Uh, money flowing back into you know into the market into the alts and into bitcoin ethereum and things like that and that's what we're looking for um looking at the dixie uh lastly uh <laughs> incredibly strong um it is looking incredibly strong um and once the, the one thing that it does worry me a little bit about that is if you look back in history whenever the dollar has been at its strongest that tends to be around the time that you have stock market crashes you do tend to see that you know you get a strong uh currency a strong dollar and then you get the you know the bubbles bursting and things very shortly after that. So it does concern me a little bit that the you know the Dixie is looking as strong as it is. Um, but as you can see, you know it's kind of trying to to break through uh, that dotted line, which uh, which it was just the previous high. Um, it, it it hasn't broken. It's uh, uh, and sort of uh, on a daily time frame. Uh, it did it did break it and close above it yesterday? So. You know, we, we need to see this start rejecting and rejecting very quickly, guys. Otherwise, you know, if Dixie starts to, which is obviously the, the dollar index, if that starts to creep up, then uh, that will have a negative, a further negative effect on the uh, on the traditional markets and also, the, you know, the uh, the crypto the crypto world that, uh, that we know and love. So, you know, keep an eye on the Dixie. If that does break up, the next point of uh, sort of resistance is going to be sort of 107 uh, depending on how long it takes to get up here so let, let's let's call it a hundred and sort of 107 to 100 107 50 should we say to 108 would be would be the next uh the next target for that but this is a daily um so it can take a while for that to happen let's hope we want to see this rejecting from here and starting to come back down uh the same with the dot you know with the tether dominance we want to see that rejecting as well uh we would like to see bitcoin price starting to bounce higher we do not want to see uh you know this uh, the bitcoin dominance doing as well as it is we want uh, we want to see that closing below this dotted line at 4324 um and starting to reject downwards as i say guys watch keep your eye on dominance if dominance breaks higher then you know you know it's time to be really considering exiting your alt positions if you still have, if you're still holding them um and thinking about what you're doing um in terms of you know your your, your trading plan because if this does come above here and starts to close above there that will mean that bitcoin this is likely to come higher it's likely to mean that bitcoin price is going to come crashing down even further and also it will be dreadful for the altcoins as this come as this starts to rise the altcoins will get absolutely crushed um so if we do break you know to the upside you know the the the, the target of that is sort of 50 percent so you can imagine from where we are now to 50 percent that will be absolutely crushing for the altcoins so you know, manage your risk accordingly is, is, is my advice there. So, okay, guys, um, hopefully you found that interesting and useful. Um, I don't think that it's over yet. I don't think that we need to, you know, to at this point in time, nothing really has changed. Uh, we are still in the same sort of range at the bottom here, uh, which, as I said on, on, on this, uh, sorry, on this chart here, uh, it's, it's easier to see on this clear chart here, but we're, we're looking at being in this range for a while. Which is between uh, twenty nine two fifty um, and uh, and thirty three thousand dollars. So don't be surprised, guys. You know that we see uh, you know even a couple of weeks of us you know bouncing around in here. Um, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, at least at least a week. Uh, but obviously, you know anything can happen in cryptocurrency, as we all know. Uh, enough to, judging by what's happened over the last couple of days, uh, you know it just goes to show that literally anything can happen. Um, and some things, you know, that they, they happen and there's nothing that you can do about them. And the charts could even, you know, w there's nothing in the charts that would warn you about that type of thing happening. That's just happened with the deep egging of the UST coin. Um, so, you know, bear that in mind, guys. Try and always remember to try and protect yourself with stop losses. 
um, and uh, you know and manage your risk with position sizing, uh, which I've done a separate video on. So I'll put a link to that in the end card as well for you for those of you that haven't seen it. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to end it there. Thanks ever so much for tuning in, for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate you all, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. All the best, guys. Thank you.